My name is Mario Maldari, and I'm the Director of Solution Architecture here at JAMA Software. In this video, we will demonstrate a powerful and easy-to-use feature in JAMA Connect, the Review Center. Reviews play a key role in successful product development. In this video, you will learn how to initiate a review, how to invite participants to a review, see how users can complete tasks, provide feedback, and finish a review. You also see how moderators can view review activity, interact with feedback, publish revisions, compare review versions, and more. Now let's get to the demo. Anything in JAMA can be sent to the Review Center, uh, individual requirements or a set of requirements. Simply right-click and send for review. This will put you into our uh, Review Center dialog where you'll have a few options to choose from. Give the requirement to review a name, a deadline, a time. You can include related items. Perhaps you want the test cases that are associated with the requirements to re be reviewed as well and select those. You have a few, few additional options. You can choose to have an electronic signature. You can enable time tracking, notify when a participant finishes a review. I like that one. Uh, in this dialog, you can add your users and assign them various roles, review, approver. And we'll have a couple of reviewers here. A very nice feature of our review and approval is the ability to invite users by email. So this allows you to invite uh, participants in your review uh, that aren't part of your project, your JAMA project, or aren't even part of your company. Perhaps you have uh, vendors that have given you requirements that you want their feedback on, stakeholders. So you can add them. They can participate in the review, uh, and you don't have to add them to the project. So let's uh, continue on here. This final dialogue is the, uh, the details of the email that will be sent out to the participants. You can customize this as you see fit. And let's initiate that. All right. And essentially, the email that your participants will see will look uh, very, very similar to this. It'll have some instructions. It'll have a link to the review, their role, and what the deadline is. Uh, and as soon as they click on this link from their email, it'll send them into the review where they'll be able to go through and accept or reject uh, each item as they go through the review. You'll be able to see the related items here, in this case, the test cases, because we uh, included that in the review. So very nice to be able to include that as well. So I'll go through and I will accept. And perhaps there's a case where uh, I disagree with something or I'd like to see a change. I can get very granular in terms of my commenting ability. I can select over some text and I can say, and I could even at mention users here as well as a FYI. And I could further qualify the comment. Perhaps say I have an issue with it. I can enter my comment. And when I'm done the review, I simply click complete review. And it gives me a nice summary uh, of what has changed in my, my review. And at this point, uh, I could either be done, uh, you know, assuming maybe I accepted all the requirements, I was happy with it. Or in this case, since I rejected one, I'd like to request a new revision after the update is made. So the moderator at this point would get notification that someone has completed the review. They'd be able to come in and, and see all of the passing um, requirements, but then they could also see the comments on the ones that I would like uh, to have updated. So they could say, okay, this should be more specific. So they can simply go into the requirement, they can edit it, and they can get a little more detail in this case. They could resolve the comment right from here, and they can resolve that comment right on the fly. They could say, save and close, commit. Okay. And now at this point, the moderator could publish a new revision and they could let the reviewers know that there's a new version of that particular requirement. So let's publish that after the change I made. And now they can actually, you see that there are two versions of the review. You can compare version one to version two, and you can see what's changed in the requirements between the two versions. So a really nice way of seeing how the requirements evolve over time by virtue of the reviews. Uh, the moderator also has some really nice views here in terms of statistics, of ability to see where the team is in terms of you know how far along they are in their review, how many they've approved, rejected, the time spent um, on the reviews. They can email the participants, send reminders, email the, the approvers only. A lot of different information and statistics here. They can look at uh, the types of comments that were put as part of the review so they can get a sense for how many changes they may need to make. Maybe there's just some questions and general comments, but if there's proposed changes or issues, you know, that's, that translates to work uh, the moderator may have to do. So it's a really good information in terms of statistics here. And all of the uh, reviews uh, that are in progress, completed, 
um, are stored in the review tab of Java Connect. And so at any given time, you could go back, you could take a look at your reviews, you know, see how the requirements evolved over time. Maybe a year later, you need to produce a audit report. Uh, Java allows you to create reports off of these reviews with all the comments and the states of the requirements. So very useful, um, you know, for seeing how your requirements have evolved over time. A very powerful feature, the Review Center, but also, as you can see, very easy to use and, and very collaborative. If you would like to learn more about how Jama Connect can optimize your product development processes, please visit our website at www.jamasoftware.com. If you're already a Jama Connect customer and would like more information on the Review Center, please contact your customer success manager or Jama Software Consultant. Mm -hmm.